Hey everybody, thanks very much for joining me for a very important discussion. You know, one of the most extraordinary aspects of our corporately dominated American political system is the degree to which the needs of working class people, who are the vast majority of our population, are systematically ignored, ignored by political and media elites. Americans were following the 2024 presidential campaign and the very important campaigns for control of the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House, will see, hear, and read a whole lot of verbiage from political insiders and the corporate media about the political game. It's all a game. They'll hear about horse race polls, how much money the candidates raise, what billionaire donors are demanding, who the vice presidential candidate might be, and of course the dumb things the candidate said or did five years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. That is what you'll be seeing, hearing day after day after day. But in the midst of all of the political gossip on TV and in the newspapers, social media, what Americans will not encounter is a serious discussion of the multiple economic crises facing the 60% of our fellow citizens who live paycheck to paycheck the invisible working class of this country. What you will not hear about is why in the richest country in the history of the world, so few have so much while so many have so little. What you will not hear about is the pain, the stress, the anxiety that tens of millions of Americans experience on a daily basis and how governmental decisions and actions can improve their lives. In order to combat a political system which ignores so many of the most important concerns facing the majority of our people. My campaign recently commissioned a poll in the battleground states of Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And what we did is ask these folks in battleground states some pretty simple questions. What are the major concerns that you and your families have? What would you like your government to do about them. Not very complicated. And the results of the poll are not surprising. And in fact, they are not unlike other polls done over the years. They show that at a time of massive income and wealth inequality in the United States, at a time of unprecedented corporate greed, a failing health care system, a grossly unfair tax structure, an extremely high rate of childhood poverty, and too many seniors struggling to pay for their basic necessities, guess what? The American people want strong governmental action which addresses the long-standing needs of working families. In other words, they want their government to respond to their needs and not just the needs of the billionaire class. And it turns out, not surprisingly, that progressive economic proposals are extremely popular. And you know what? They are popular not only among Democrats, but also among independents, Republicans, and even the most ardent Donald Trump supporters. One of the key findings of the poll is that on core economic issues, by a wide margin, voters are more likely to vote for a candidate who favors expanding Social Security benefits by making the wealthy pay the same tax rate as the working class. In other words, they know when so many of our seniors are struggling, if you lift the cap on taxable income and have the billionaires starting to pay their fair share, we can raise Social Security benefits by $2,400 a year and expand, extend the life of Social Security by 75 years. And guess what? Americans, Democrats, Republicans, independents, by wide margins, believe that we should expand Medicare to cover vision, dental, and hearing needs. Because you know why? Millions of seniors can't afford to go to a dentist. And guess what? Americans favor cutting the cost of prescription drugs in half by making sure that Americans pay no more than what they pay in Canada or in Europe. And that's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? Year after year, we are paying, in some cases, 10 times more for the same drugs as in Europe or in Canada. Americans say, hmm, 
that is not necessarily a good idea. Maybe we should have the guts to take on the pharmaceutical industry. And also, not surprisingly, Americans across the political spectrum favor demanding that the wealthy start paying their fair share of taxes and that large multinational corporations that are drawing record-breaking profits also start paying their fair share. In other words, what this is all about is that campaigning on an economic agenda that speaks to the needs of working families is a winning formula if you're running for president of the United States, if you're running for the United States Senate, the U.S. House, if you're running for a school board or a city council. The American people want you to start talking about the issues that impact their lives. And in my view, if we have our national ticket, Kamala Harris and the vice presidential candidate, our senatorial candidates and others, talk about these issues, my strong view is that the Democrats stand a very good chance of not only electing Kamala Harris to be our next president, but also making major gains in the Senate and the House. Because what people respond, want, want to see is a government that governs in the best tradition of Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal. Roosevelt won four elections because he talked and he acted on behalf of the working class of this country. And Joe Biden's Build Back Better, which was one of the most important pieces of legislation proposed in the last many, many decades. So, as you may guess, I don't usually urge candidates to pay attention to the polls. But in this instance, this instance, uh, I think Democrats should do just that. So bottom line, let us do everything that we can to force discussion about the real issues impacting ordinary Americans, demand that our candidates start addressing those issues. If we do that, we're going to have a great victory up and down the ballot this November. Thank you all very much. And by the way, if you want more uh, information and detail about these polls, this poll, you can get it at berniesanders.com. Thanks very much.